Hey, it's Joel the 3D Printing Nerd, and this is just gonna be a quick little video because I wanted to demonstrate what an ooze shield does, and I'm gonna be using these guys to demonstrate it. Let's do it, are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. Ooh, Red Bull's yummy. So like I said before, I wanted to talk about an ooze shield and dual extrusion printing. I've had a couple dual extrusion systems. I have the Flash Forge Creator Pro. I had the BCN Sigma, and now I've got the Raze 3D N2 Plus. All of those were dual extrusion printers. And uh, the BCN Sigma was special in that it had independent heads, so it made it interesting. What is an ooze shield? Well, an ooze shield, when printing with more than one colored filament, allows you to get any of the remnants that ooze out of the nozzle collected around the outside of a model so that you end up with colors that don't bleed into other colors. This is a Luby Dragon here. I believe it was an Aria? I'm not sure. I did have an ooze shield on this, and here, I'll show you on the GoPro. For the most part, this, this dragon looks great. There was a tiny little bit of oozing right there that actually caught up and ended up where it shouldn't have been. But other than that, this model turned out great. And what I did was print one of the Moai heads, good old Easter Island, and the dual extrusion print, I think, I think it came out well. It still has the ooze shield on it. And what you see right here is the bits of filament that oozed out of the nozzle being caught by the ooze shield itself. You can see that there's not a lot of blue bits from the blue filaments, but the tan filament definitely oozed out and this caught it. So now what we're gonna do, using these flush cutters, because that's all I can find, I'm gonna take off this ooze shield and you're going to see for the first time, just like I am, if this model turned out okay. I'm gonna start by slicing this right up the back. I know I could probably rip and tear, but this gives me a chance to cut stuff. And well, that's kind of fun, right? There we go. Because the ooze shield is very, very loosely held together layers on the Z axis, it breaks apart fairly easily. In fact, I bet one or two more cuts and I'll be able to have this off, no problem. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. And I think, I think we are good. So here's the model up close. You can see that there are some bits that do need to be cleaned off, but they are very far and few between, and they are easily removed with my fingernail. And there we go. So have a look at this. This model actually turned out pretty good. And if you look around the model, you can see that there are no places where the colors bled through, at least not in this light. I can't tell. I think it looks pretty darn good. It's a good color scheme too. Well, there you have it. Look at that. In fact, I prepared this model as well, and I'd already removed the ooze shield, but it's a very similar result. I'll show you in the GoPro here. There we go. What's neat about this model and why dual extrusion printing is really cool is that this is two different types of material. One is a PLA and one is the poly smooth material. And that material is able to be smoothed using isopropyl alcohol. Mixing materials and dual extrusion printing is kind of on on the forefront, this is why, why it exists and why it's kind of cool. Remember at Maker Faire when I was interviewing Claudio from Lulzbot, his favorite thing was using dual extrusion because then he could take a solid material and a bendable material and a solid material and put them together and then you had a living essential joint. Even Tom thinks that dual extrusion printing is going to be the next big thing in low cost 3D printers. Well, hassle free dual extrusion and he makes a very good point there. And the reason we have an ooze shield is because dual extrusion printing is definitely not hassle-free at this time. And when you have the two nozzles together and you're dealing with different filaments and different types of materials, you might set 
one heater to one temperature and the other to a higher or lower temperature and then you're dealing with retraction issues and oozing more so or less than it's it could just be a headache so in conclusion uh, give it a try. If you have yourself a dual extrusion 3D printer, uh, give it a try. Maybe this model, I'll put the link down in Thingiverse. If you've done other dual extrusion prints, uh, definitely let me know about them, show them off. I know multi-material printing and multi-color printing is going to be big in 2017, so I'm looking forward to what's coming down the pike. Hey, thanks for joining me on this short little video. I just kind of wanted to talk about dual extrusion, why I think it's cool. Others think it's cool as well. I think it's going to be big coming up and I think we have a lot of cool new technologies to pay attention to. Give it a like if you appreciate dual extrusion printing. Leave a comment down below and let me know if the tan yellow or the tan blue Easter Island head is better. Whichever one gets the most votes, uh, I will involve it in my next video. How about that? And a big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Without their financial support, this video wouldn't be possible. Love each other more. Give more hugs. As always, high five.